peace be to you, dear brothers and sisters. Today we are invited to reflect the faith of the centurion. The centurion would have been the Roman army, head of hundred men, lived in the region of Palestine, mostly these Romans was disliked by the Jewish community, but this centurion liked the one God Judaism and especially the preachings of Jesus Christ. So, he had power, he had political power and he knew the limitations of the political power before the divine power. So, he submitted himself for the healing of the divine power. So, he approached a group of elders of the Jewish community in contrast to St. Mark account that he himself went to Jesus. A group of elders went to Jesus on behalf of the centurion and requested Jesus to heal the servant of the centurion from the ailments. The faith of the centurion was expressed over there. The faith of the centurion was that he believed that Christ was from the Father and he had power to execute the divine power in this world. When he executes the divine power, he does not have any barrier of time and space. So, when Jesus utters a word, it will be performed immediately under any circumstances, crossing any kind of borders, any kind of time limit. He believed that, believed it to a deeper manner. So, Jesus seeing his faith, looking at his disciples, the apostles, even in Jewish community, I had not seen such a man. Such a faith I have not seen in this community. Saint Luke supports with this account to his audience of his preaching that the Gentiles are appreciated are also one of the communities loved by the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Jesus said the word and his servant was healed. It was purely the faith that made the servant of the centurion to be healed. It is always the faith draws divine power. The faith of the human being brings down God to work in this world. We look at the Eucharistic Lord. Our eyes will say that it is bread and looking at the chalice, it will say it is the wine, but must our eyes of faith must say this is bread of life, Christ Jesus, this is body of Christ. When we have such a faith, we will also have healing even at a distance 
apart from time and space. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us. Continue to be with us, Lord. Strengthen us, Lord. We are weak in faith, Lord. We are of little faith. We are just shattered by a small incidence. Give your grace, Lord, so that by your continuous use of the grace, we may have faith and grow towards you, Lord. Never allow, you, allow us to be deviated from your presence by the incidents, by the winds and waves that goes around us, Lord. Be with us, strengthen us. So that we may have faith like this centurion. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.